sometimes people say just last weekend in Philadelphia someone asked this question what if I have unconscious beliefs that are in my way and we say well if you're not feeling any emotion about them then they're not a big enough player to be affecting you and if they are a big enough player to be affecting you then you're gonna be feeling emotion around them so isn't it nice when you realize that you have emotion that's pointing at something that's in your way so we want just for a moment because this has been intense and a little bit heavy we want you to understand how really beautifully and easily this all works we want you to realize that your inner being does know everything that you want and where you are in relationship to it and this is the most important thing that you'll hear from us all day your inner being knows what the path of least resistance is between where you are and where you want to be say it again your inner being knows where your path of least resistance is your inner being understands your path and your inner being understands the resistance that you have put on the trail your inner being is not upset about the resistance that you put on the trail your inner being is aware of the resistance that you put on the trail but your inner being is navigating you around the resistance that you put on the trail because your inner being knows you don't have to go back and clean up that resistance you just can't look at it without it being a blockade that will not let you move along your trail does that make sense to you you don't have to go back and clean things up you just have to get tuned into your inner being who will guide you through the path of least resistance to what you want your inner being never says to you got to go back and clean that up you've got to go back to the time that you were 10 and you've got to confront those demons and you've got to bring them out into the open and you've got to find a new place no 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 that's not what your inner being is saying and that's not what we're saying to you and that's not what we wanted to happen to you but if there's resistance on your trail that you keep tripping over then you either got to get rid of the resistance or 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 and this is the better option you got to get rid of the resistance first of all friends you can't so give that up you got to do one of two things you got to give up the resistance you can't do that you can't undo that you can't stop remembering things you can't not see a photograph and not remember what it meant or hear music and remember what it meant in other words you're not gonna undo that resistance all right you're not gonna undo that resistance you're not gonna have not lived what you've lived how about that you're not gonna unlive what you've lived nor would you want to because you put the other end of it in your vortex which is calling you you put the do want in your vortex which is calling you so your vortex your inner being are calling you toward what you are wanting and even though all that resistance is peppered all around on your trail your inner being says come this way come this way come this way meet this person see this see this see this your inner being never says get rid of it your inner being says ignore it your inner being says come this way 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 and you say but what about this that I did or what about this that I said what about this that I thought that's resistance that your inner being is not asking you to focus upon and make more your inner being is saying come this way come this way come this way can you feel how many things that we have accomplished today in terms of an understanding of what's going on with this business of creating your own reality and the most significant thing here and it is hugely significant is that when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and your inner being is always calling you there and when you feel anger it's because you're not going the way your inner being would have you go you're stopping to examine the resistance Ooh, I think I need to talk about this your inner being says we're not talking about it but I think I need to talk about it I think I need to repent about it or I think I need to ask forgiveness about it or I think I need to unlive it in some way and your inner being is saying take your attention away from it and it will no longer exist as a vibrational factor in your experience you say yeah but it was big and your inner being says doesn't matter how big it is take your attention away from it and it will no longer exist as a vibrational factor in your point of attraction you say yeah but it was really really big your inner being says it doesn't matter how big it is take your attention away from it and it will no longer exist there's no law 
of exclusion and there's no law of redemption and there's no law of repentance and there's no law of unliving and there's no law of undoing there is only the law of attraction which is responding to who you are and this is the thing that we want so much for you to understand who you are that's what you said who am I who am I you're a source energy being in a physical time space reality with a vibrational part of you that is so huge and calling you that's who you are you are liquid love and when you are not loving then you're off of who you are you are happy and when you're not happy then you're off of who you are you're easy and when you're not easy you're off of who you are you can tell by the way you feel warmer 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 colder 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 that's all it is we make much 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 we blame you no.